now the latest on September 23rd around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Several systems are active around the world today. Tropical storms Jerry and Karen in the Atlantic, Kiko and Mario in the, in the Eastern Pacific, Tapa weakening in the Western Pacific, and Tropical Storm 3A has formed in the Arabian Sea. The Atlantic sees day 114 of hurricane season. Jerry and Karen active. Exumberto still prevailing in the northern part of the ocean. 90L likely to form soon. Day 131 in the eastern Pacific. Kiko, a tropical storm. Still, the National Hurricane Center are tired of that one by the sounds of things. And Mario weakened to a tropical depression. Tapa, just off the northern coast of Japan, will turn post-tropical very soon, and 3A, tropical storm in the Arabian Sea. No systems active in the southern hemisphere at this time, it's all quiet here. Main feature is tropical storm Karen, winds of 40 miles per hour and a pressure of 1,007 millibars. This update produced before the National Hurricane Center's intermediate advisory, so they may have changed that. 94 miles from Grenada, 12.5 north, 63.1 degrees west. Um, barely holding on to a tropical storm, may not even be one at this point, but it is likely to re-strengthen towards Puerto Rico later this week, and then probably gain some more momentum as it shoots off towards the north. But it could stall and then turn west later on in the forecast towards the end of the week, and we'll be watching out very closely to see what happens with that track. Tropical Storm 3A is located. Uh, just to the southwest of India and Pakistan, 40 miles per hour, pressure of 995 millibars, 291 miles from Karachi, 20.7 north, 66 degrees east. This system likely to move towards Oman, but is expected to not be very strong at all and will probably weaken before it gets to the Arabian Peninsula and it will probably make landfall as a depression somewhere in southern Oman, but still it could pull a little surprise and could strike there as a tropical storm so we'll keep watching that one closely as well. Wind shear graphics uh, this is over tropical storm Jerry at this point if I'm not mistaken uh, still battling um, has been for some time battling with the uh, wind shear that's been something that's really done a number on Jerry in the last day or two it's really been struggling hasn't managed to get anywhere near back to hurricane status and the National Hurricane Center aren't predicting Jerry to be a hurricane anymore this is what Karen looks like on the imagery uh, also really struggling uh, barely got a circulation you can see it merging there again towards the northern side though on those later frames so it does look to me as that circulation is still uh, tight uh, and is still there but the convection has really been fading away all day long and it really would wouldn't be a surprise to see this downgraded to a tropical depression before it gets some momentum back later this week. Here's a wide shot of the North Atlantic. Uh, Jerry, whilst it is struggling, uh, appears to be getting larger when you look at its influence. Um, it's got a long tail off towards the northeast which stretches all the way from the remnants of Umberto, which is approaching the British Isles this week. Um, and you've also got what's left, well still, what's left of Karen's convection down there near Trinidad. And this is the Gulf of Mexico looking quiet, just a few flare-ups over Yucatan and Cuba. The Eastern Pacific, Lorena really untraceable at this point, it died really quickly as it moved inland. So Arizona won't be feeling much from this one. Uh, you can see there Mario, actually I think looks pretty good. Um, and the National Hurricane Center might be downplaying that one just a little bit. Still seeing that little bit of convection. Kiko still surviving as well. Western Pacific looking like this. A few disturbances. None of these are marked anymore. So we don't have any invests in the Western Pacific. I think that's what's left of 90W there in the central region now. Uh, on the left hand side of all of those disturbances. So that may get redesignated soon. It's looking a little bit interesting with a potent spell of convection there. The Australia and South Pacific region looks like it's starting to get into gear. Not far from the season down there. Still over a month yet though. But a trail of disturbances there. And in the Indian Ocean, quite clearly you can see 3A. Looks like a very uh, significant tropical storm. Small, compact. Well, that could spring a surprise and over in the Bay of Bengal also a little area of disturbance there. Sea surface temperatures looking like this around 28 or 30 degrees plus along the coast of Mexico
Mexico, cooler out in the, in the eastern Pacific. The Gulf of Mexico, very warm, 30 degrees plus. The Atlantic, uh, where Karen and Jerry are going to end up being 28 degrees plus. So sea surface temperatures will never be an issue for Karen at least. Jerry obviously will start to cool down in about two days. The Indian Ocean, fairly warm. Where 3A is, it will start to feel the effects of lower sea surface temperatures. 26 degrees pretty much until it gets to Oman. And in the Bay of Bengal, 28 to 30 degrees. Generally, the Western Pacific warm across the board, as always. Tropical Storm Jerry looks like this. Um, as you can see, it has been struggling today. Um, has been struggling for over a day at this point, And the chances of hurricane status are fading away for Jerry. Um, the uh, the circulation there becoming partially exposed once again and this is a look at tropical storm karen today too um so again the convection has just been waning over the course of the full day really um only a tiny little bit of convection is surviving um and we'll see whether it gets its mojo back at some point but it doesn't look like it's going to happen tonight um so it's really trailing a fine line between tropical storm and depression and this is tropical storm 3a at this point um, so you can see its mass the mass of the system is located displaced to the west and southwest and the center is sort of towards the northeastern side of all of that convection which is delivering large amounts of rainfall of course over those water areas which you would expect September 23rd is day 266 of the year. We've had 66 tropical storms. The next name on the Atlantic naming list is Lorenzo. In the Eastern Pacific, we're looking out for Nada. The Central Pacific will have Ema. In the North Indian Ocean, the Indian Meteorological Department still haven't named the system, so it would still be called Hika. In the Western Pacific, the next name on the list there is Mitag. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text and subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter under the same name as well if you'd like to get in touch with us on any of those mediums. That's all for now. We'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow if we're not doing any live coverage. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.